Hey guys, it's Brett and Brad. We're your independent Sensi Consultants. Welcome back to our channel. We're here with the Casey Chief shirt. Mm -hmm. And the Royals won yesterday. Yes. Both of them. Both of our teams. Okay. Chiefs are 5 and 0, right? Yep. yep. Okay. We're here with the Whiff Box for set October, sorry. October 2024 Whiff Box. Didn't think we was gonna get it. Well, it didn't want too bad. It was, we ordered it Tuesday the 1st and we got it today's Tuesday the 8th, so it took a week. That's not bad. I have another package I ordered two weeks ago, way before this, and I still haven't got it yet. My Maleficent warmer's in there. I have a uh, Sensi Air in there. I closed out a party. I got some fall bars. By the time I get it, fall's gonna be over. It'll be winter. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's taking so long for that package. It was in, uh, printed status for like three days and now it was in shipping for like four days but it didn't have a delivery date yet it said we'll let you know as soon as we receive your package so since you shipped it out but FedEx haven't received it yet finally they say Thursday is gonna be delivered so we'll see but FedEx is known to change the date at the last minute just like this was supposed to come yesterday originally but then they changed the date to the day the very last minute because it never came yesterday so anyway we have the whiff box and it is in a different package if you haven't heard already it's they put it in a different box because it's got an item in here that doesn't fit in the regular size with box so they put it in just like a regular box so that's why it's in this box instead of the regular box that has the decoration on the outside it's just in a regular plain box so that's the inside here and I know two things that are in here because I saw the end of the month live video which is the uh, CEO and the the president's Founders of Sensi do see uh, end of the month live video where they talk about stuff and they they told us two things that are going to be in the web box. I already know those two things, but I didn't know anything else. I always try to like don't watch videos if I see that they're going to talk about the web box, or I'll skip past it. Or if there's pictures online, I'll hurry up and scroll past them. So that's the only two things I know for sure. So here's the card. It says with box, a hint of the holidays at your door. there and it says on the back the Sensi holiday collection has arrived your October whiff box has an exclusive mini warmer paired with a whiff of our most enchanting products from the new collection ask your consultant about more ways to celebrate let me read the others for you and then in the other languages it says okay it's going by the tip hola and you know Well, I didn't know you spoke that. I don't uh, even know what language that is. I Isla Kalunkin that festive sensi ha El Dorado to Kaja with box D Okay. Octo we get it. Yeah. <laughs> now that I think is Spanish right there. I think that's Spanish. That doesn't sound yeah. like no Spanish. Can you can try a little harder. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying. La collection festive. Oh, I can't either. I can't speak Spanish. And the other one I think is French. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I think you're right. Christy, wee could wee. Probably, Christy could probably read the French. It's, it's French. The whiff box. Wee wee. Oh gosh. Got a little doing? air bubble thing in there. Okay. So. First, the reason why it, it was in a bigger box is because of this mini warmer, like it said, and that is one of the things I knew was already in here, because they showed that on the end of the month live. So it is a mini warmer, and it is a Saint Nick mini warmer. Yay! So this Old is- Saint Nick. It's an exclusive, only label in the whip box. It's not a super sell on our website or anything. So if you want this, you have to order, go to the whip box, so we're gonna open it up here. Oh, St. Nick. So they don't put mini warmers in here too often. Have they ever put a full size warmer in a foot box? Not that I know of, but they might. Not since we've been consultants. Just a mini warmer. So here it is. It's wrapped underneath him here. Oh, he's super cute. It is really cute. That's super cute. 
So there's Saint Nick. Oh, 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 oh. I need a hand. Oh, there we go. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, I love it. That's his his rosy cheeks and his eyes, his little mouth, and his mustache with the beard. And it's, it's ceramic. It's really um, shiny, glazed ceramic. It's kind of classic looking. It reminds me of like a classic Christmas. Mm -hmm. And then on the back is where the wax goes on the back of the hat there. And it's got holes here, so the light bulb, the light will shine out through the holes in the back of his hair there. And then the you put the wax there, like I said, and then it's open so the scent will come out through the back of the hat. And we're probably not gonna light this up because you can stop now. Oh, don't need your hand anymore. Oh. We're not gonna plug it in because it'll just have lights to come out the back. It's just gonna show. It'll be just like holes on your wall. It'll just shine little holes on the back of your wall. And it just goes on your little. Yeah. Just sits on there. It's got a 15 watt bulb. I'm pretty sure it should be 15 watt. I'm just positive. Oopsie. Yeah, 15 watt. And you just plug it in your wall and turn it on and nice and cute. the holes will shine on the back. So it'll have a little bit of light just from the back side of it. But it doesn't and light up in the front or anything. Shown shown you guys this before? Like if you have a plug that is like sideways, you can still put a warmer in there because it turns. Yeah. So it helps turn it. Like if you're uh, got a funky plug or something where you want to put it, you can still put it. And then you also have a, a washer in here so that if you can put it underneath this part so it'll fit a little bit snugger when that washer's in there. It, it fits a little more snug if that washer's on there. Right. It doesn't, it's not quite as loose. Then you can also get the little tabletop stands you can plug in and it just sits on the uh, stand and it'll have a light bulb plugged in the stand thing. You can get that as well on our website or your consultant's website. If you want to sit it on the table instead of plugging it in. It's super freaking cute though. All right, next we have washer whiffs. And what is this in? Oh, sex is light. It's in white, so I can barely read it. Vanilla Barnwood. That's cool. That's in the... Uh, Vanilla Barnwood. It's in the holiday collection. Yeah, they have two washer whiffs and a laundry liquid in the holiday collection. So we get the wash. One thing of washer whiffs, a small container of washer whiffs. And what was the notes on that? Can you read that? Um, uh, there is no notes. Okay. Oh yeah, it is. Oh no, I don't. Okay. Uh -uh. It's, it was wood and like, I don't know, kind of so lemony a little bit. I don't remember all the notes. Yeah, it's lemony. It really smells lemony in here. It smells lemon bakery in here. Oh, it does. It smells really good though. It smells like, like lemon bakery. It kind of smells chocolatey too. No, okay, chocolate. Maybe that was your breath. Almost <laughs> smells like lemon coconut. I haven't had no chocolate. I only had a oh, pita chips and hummus. So yeah, it smells like kind of like lemon coconut chiffon. Mm. I don't know, but there's a little bit I of wood. I gotta look on the back and see if it's on the back. With the notes. But I don't think said the notes are on there. I look on my phone, look on your phone on our website, and you can tell you. You know, it takes me forever to find that. <laughs> oh gosh, you gotta do everything. What consultant does not know how to get to something real fast? Me, because I don't use my phone real fast. Because you never fast. look up anything. I don't, I don't look up anything. Do you even know what our website is? I was with our neighbor today. What is our website? And um, it's written right at us.sensi.com. Flip flop it, yeah, right at us. Okay. Anyways, um, I was trying to figure out the taxes for my Jeep. And so I was like, Hey, can you Google this for me? I don't look up anything. I don't know how. I can't. I suck at it. Okay, vanilla barnwood is barnwood covered with creamy vanilla and rich amber conjure a picturesque snow-covered countryside. So we have uh, barnwood, vanilla, and amber, but it smells lemony to me. Mm -hmm. There could be some like Maybe. barnwood and amber, there, yeah. vanilla. Maybe vanilla up a little bit. Vanilla and amber, kind of yeah. It smells really good. I like it. Is, it. This smells lemony too, though. Mm -hmm. it smells good. So let's see how that does on the clothes. 
Then there is three bars in here. Oh, let me do this first. I've got a holiday collection brochure. So there's a harvest brochure in the last one in the uh, September wolf box. In October, we got the holiday brochure. It just has everything in the holiday collection in there. Awesome. Uh, if you're one of our customers that ordered within the last four to five weeks, you got one of these in the mail coming with a cinnamon month sample. All right, and that's it, except for the bars, the wax here. So let's see here. Uh, first, we have Frosted Fantasy. Frosted Fantasy? This is uh, in the Holiday Collection, five bar bundle. <clears throat> so we've had this, we did the our first sniffs and I did my warm reviews, so let me read you the notes here, it's in the brochure. Frost of Fantasy is bergamot, snowdrop blossoms, and cedar wood. So it was okay. It was nice. I think, I'm thinking this was my fourth favorite. Or was it my fifth? I think Bundle Up was my fifth. I can't remember. Somewhere. It was my fourth or fifth. It was, it was my, nice. It, it was, was pretty, my first. It was pleasant and nice. Just not a repurchase for me, but it was nice. You didn't like it? No, it wasn't my first. Oh. It's nice, it's just a one and done kind of thing, but I mean, I would definitely enjoy it. enjoyed it while I had it. It just wasn't, I didn't enjoy it enough to buy it again. But if you had it in the wood box, it's nice to have. I would definitely warm it again, and I will, because we have one. And then next up we have, this is another exclusive. So the warmer here was exclusive, and this bar is exclusive. You can only get it in the wood box. Gingerbread cheesecake. I'm so excited for this. And it's that cheesecake on there. Mm, it is. looks like it. Looks like cheesecake and gingerbread. Actually. Yeah, gingerbread man and then a cheese. Cinnamon cake. sticks too. Oh yeah. So there's no notes. Actually, I think there is. Hold on. No notes or yes notes. There's there's notes because I think it's in a you can or add it to your club, so it should have the notes in there. I don't remember I looked it up, let me look and see. So after you get the with boxing, add it to your club. You, you can already add it to your club. All right, so it is, I do have this notes. It's actually available right now. You can add this to your club right now. So it's on, if you have a club, go to your Sensei Club and you can look at the uh, promotions, I think it's under promotions, and uh, it'll be there. So it is gingerbread and cinnamon infused rich creamy cheesecake with the warmth of the holiday. So I had gingerbread, cinnamon, and creamy cheesecake, just what was on the picture. Mm -hmm. And it smells like gingerbread, very much so on the bottom, and it smells like cheesecake on the top. Does it? Mm -hmm. It doesn't have a category in here, but I'm sure it's bakery. Maybe just it a could tad be bit cinnamon. Could be spice, maybe. Okay, yeah. It's good. More gingerbread than cheesecake. Mm, but it's good. But you can still smell the cheesecake. Yeah, if you if you don't like the real milky cheesecake things, like a blueberry cheesecake, it's not quite like that. I think it'll be okay because it's not quite that milky, that sour milk kind of note that people get with cheesecake. That's not quite in here to me. Kind of wish it was a little bit more because I like that personally. Some people don't, but it's in there a little bit. But you definitely get the gingerbread and the uh, cinnamon. Mm -hmm. But it's not overly. It's not red hot cinnamon or anything. No. It's a really good smell. It's everything that it says. Yeah, it's a mixture of, of gingerbread cinnamon with a little mm. undertone of a cheesecake. Yeah. Maybe when orange that cheesecake will come out more. I was kind of hoping it had a little bit more cheesecake, but it's still good. Yeah, I like it. it smells good. It's kind of almost giving me a little... It's kind of giving me a little pumpkin vibes, too. Sometimes gingerbread can kind of do that. It gives off a little bit of a pumpkin spice-ish kind of vibe. Yeah, it's not straight up ginger snap like like ginger frosted ginger cookie. It's not quite like that. It's not exactly like ginger uh, ginger cookie crunch. It's a little more along the lines of ginger cookie crunch than it is frosted ginger cookie. But okay. it's a little bit more ginger than uh, ginger cookie crunch did, but not quite as much as frosted ginger cookie. So it's in the middle. And then lastly, we have the upcoming November scent of the month. We do Christmas cookie. Yes, we do. 
Christmas cookie and look it's got new Christmas packaging on it so I don't know if they're changing the scent of the month package and it actually says scent of the month on it can you why is it not oh, there it goes it says scent of the month on the top and then Christmas cookie and it's in a uh, fancy Christmas writing it's that red and green writing so I don't know if they're just doing that nobody knows that they're doing that just for like a one-time thing for Christmas decoration like or if they're gonna always put scent of the month on there because sometimes they used to put scent of the month on there but they quit doing that they used to have a little sticker that would say scent of the month and they quit doing that but this actually says scent of the month again and in writing on the thing not a sticker and it's different packaging and stuff so i kind of like it like that mm -hmm. i do too we'll see if they do that again i don't think that i have a funny feeling they probably won't it'll probably go back to the regular but it's probably just a little one-time christmas thing anyway so this is october scent of the month so the notes i have pulled up here so in the bakery category, of course, it is explore a bustling kitchen full of baked gingerbread and sparkling orange surrounded by holiday pine trees. Top note is sparkling orange, mid notes, baked gingerbread, and base note is holiday pine trees. So we have a lot of gingerbread this season. We just had the gingerbread cheesecake, that gingerbread, we've got ginger pecan waffles, a few other ones. So I'm fine with that because I love gingerbread. So gingerbread orange and pine trees this is like another perfect mix you can smell the pine trees on the bottom is for it more, sure is it more pine than cookies or orange i feel like orange is going to be more yeah. prominent in this than the cookie I don't or know. the pine i'm hoping the gingerbread is prominent. the top isn't real piney the bottom is what do you smell the most of then i think it's a perfect mix between the gingerbread and the orange actually and the pine mm -hmm. Let's see. You smell more pine on the bottom, I think. It's light on the top. Mm hmm It's very orange and gingerbread-y, but it's light, yeah. Yeah, I do I get a mixture of all of it. Light. It's a light mixture of all of it on the top. It smells good. I get gingerbread. Okay, a little orange and a little pine. A little mixture. Let's see the bottom. A lot of pine. More pine on the bottom, but you do get some orange in there. And a little bit of gingerbread. Not as much gingerbread as I was hoping for, but it's in there. I don't... So when it says Christmas cookie, for some reason I just think sugar cookie. But it's not like a sugar cookie, really. Mm -hmm. Because it's got the tree. So that tree is... I don't even... I'm s The tree, and then it's called Christmas cookie. It's kind of weird. But I know a lot of sense people do, like especially like Bender Rex, they'll have like tree with like vanilla, or like tree with cookie. And some people thought maybe they're... Since he's been trying to make more sense, a little bit similar to like Bender type of sense, and that could be true because there's competition because a lot of people buy Scentsy also buy Bender Wax. So maybe they're trying to up their game and have more complex fragrances. Maybe that's why they're throwing in some pine trees with like a sugar cookie note and vanilla. Well, there's no vanilla in here, sorry. Just baked gingerbread and then pine trees and orange. But I do get the pine trees, but also I get the orange. Mm -hmm. And I get the gingerbread undertone of that. So it's not overly on the bottom I smell where the smell more of the tree but it's I do still get that orange and the gingerbread mixed in there it's pretty even though like you said mm -hmm. maybe just a it's touch really more good. of the pine trees but I it's not overly pine yeah. it's a good nice mixture of all the, all three of those I don't think they overtake any of them more than the others really right I like it because at first I smelled more of the pine tree, the more I'm smelling it, not as much as I was at first. But it's good. I like it. I'm curious to try it. Yeah. It's nice. It's, it's a little different. So I like how it's different. Yeah, you said for making something a little different. It's not just mm -hmm. a plain sugar cookie or regular cookie scent. It's got a, a little complexity to it. All right. So excited to try that. All right. Yeah. So now we're going to add it up real quick and let you know the totals. All right. So we got the value here. We have... The three bars, which are $6 each. The mini warmer is $25 uh, value. The mini warmer is normally $25. Even though this isn't for sale, it, it would probably be $25 if it was. Or sometimes it can even be 30, but I don't, we're just gonna go for 25. Yeah. And then the uh, washer whiffs, the, uh, does that 16 ounce, I think it's $14 for it. 16 ounce. Yeah, 16 ounce, $14 for this. And then the brochure, that's, there's no value on that. It's just one little brochure. So that comes to 
$57. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. You get for $35. $57 worth of merchandise for $35. That means you're saving $22. Mm -hmm. It's $22 savings in this one. That's a box. really good deal. Yeah, that's a good one. And, mm -hmm. I mean, you get this warmer, mini warmer, that you can't get anywhere else, only in the whip box. You get the gingerbread cheesecake bar, only can get in the whip box. So if you want these two, you have to get the whip box. Christmas cookie, you can only get in the whip box right now until next month. You can't get this till November 1st. So if you want to get this now, you got to get it in the whip box. And then, of course, everything else, the frosted fantasy and the... Uh, Vanilla barn whip, wash whips are available on the mm -hmm. right now, so you can get those. But those three things you can't get yet. It's a really good deal. It is a good deal, and I can't wait to try the Christmas cookie and the gingerbread cheesecake. So look for warm reviews of those, either in the what have been warming or I'll put it somewhere. So yeah. let you know how that all went. All right, and uh, anything else going on? I think. Let's see. They just released yesterday the Disney Walt Disney World Resort Signature Treats Collection. $28 for five bars, which is a really good deal because the licensed bars are $7 each now. So $28 for five of them is a really good deal. So we ordered those yesterday. Get them hopefully quick so we can do first sniffs for you and let you know what we think. Excited to see what they smell like. Gotta get them before vacation. Yeah. Hopefully, because we leave next Thursday. I'm sure we'll get it. Hopefully. Well, I don't know, because that one order's taking me two weeks to get. Mm. We'll see. Fingers crossed. We'll see. All right, so thanks for watching. We'll see you in our next video. Bye. Bye, y'all.